हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन एस के ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू कंट्रोल साइजिंग और हाउ टू कंट्रोल द मैसिंग मैस साइजिंग लोकली सो लेट्स स्टार्ट प्रीवियसली वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ टू कंट्रोल द मैस साइज ग्लोबली सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो बेटर यू कैन टेक अ लुक ऑन दैट वीडियो एंड देन यू कैन स्टार्ट दिस सो जस्ट Click on the mesh and drag it in the project schematic. And uh, for the geometry, uh, I had already created my own geometry. Just just right right click and on import geometry centrifugal pump. I have to make some correction on this. So just double click on the geometry and uh, the design modeler will start. so just generate this and we will select this for having this body to be sweepable also but we will not sweep this uh, we will see the reason why we are not sweeping just click on the new plane and uh, select type from center and select this edge mm. this is and apply and now we can generate and uh, now we will slice our body by that plan just generate these are these methods are previously discussed so i'm doing it fast and just close this and now click double click on the mesh to start okay now this is our pump so we will right click on the mesh and then insert and first we will generate the mesh for the bodies so geometry selection here apply and here this is simple body so we can select the multi zone and for the this complicated body we will select tetrahedron patch confirming method okay now we will just and for this the jigs reference we will select the cfd because in the centrifugal pump we mainly deal with the fluid therefore our project reference is cfd now we will generate the simple mesh this is our mesh with initial basic uh, controls now we will apply the sizing okay now in the sizing there are many options available now so we will start from the edge sizing okay here we can select the two edges and just click apply now for the sizing type is element size there are three types element size number of division and square of influence in the element size we'll just write the size of the element let it be 2 mm and uh, refresh or update it this is our sizing we can see it the size of the element at the edge is refined uh, as we can see here now the next option in the sizing is uh is pair of influence or first we have to select the like let me select the face okay so here the option will be first element size let me tell you the element size denotes the average size of the element on the face or on the edge so we can select this element size as 2 mm let me select and just generate it is fine mesh so it will take some time so okay, friends our face sizing is done and the average element size on the face is uh 2 mm okay you can see it so now the next option in the sizing let me 
Next option in the question is behavior. Behavior is of two types, soft and hard. Uh, soft behavior means uh, the global mass control will have influence in these settings. But if you put it as hard, then global mass control will not have any influence over these. Okay, growth rate and curvature normal angle, these are discussed in the previous lectures. Now we come to the next size, next method of sizing in which we will discuss about uh, sphere of influence. So we will apply here. Here the options are available: body of influence and sphere of influence. You know, both have the same functionality the sphere of influence will control the sizing in a sphere but body of influence means the sizing mass sizing will be controlled and hold the body so we will discuss here is sphere, sphere of influence and for the center of sphere we will select the global coordinate system origin which is given and uh, this is the origin and uh, for the sphere radius we will define it as 500 mm okay. so this is sphere is big you know so we can reduce its size to only 50 mm okay. Now we can see our sphere. This is our sphere of influence. In this, we will control the sizing. And in this sphere, let me define or this element size tells the average element size. So put it as 5. Okay. And let me delete this face sizing because it is it consumes lots of memory or it reduces the time. Oh, it increases the time, so that's why I deleted that. And then just generate mass. Okay, now it is done. So this is our sphere of influence from here. We will we are not able to see our control, so we will create the uh, plan. Okay. So just for the section plane you can click here section plane new section plane if you don't have this option then you can click just here new section plane and just to drag one line from here to here in order to see the size and if we zoom then our sizing will be in here okay, this is the sphere of influence in which our element size is 2 mm which we already discussed but now we can increase the size so to see the size of the elements in our centrifugal pump okay friends hope you find this as an informative tutorial and we will meet in the next tutorial in which we will cover out inflation which is very important for CFD related tutorials okay and in order to exit the section plane you just uncheck this section plane okay okay